All right, guys. So, like I said, I'm not a professional at doing this. I just found this in this little uh, Con Air bag that they sent me. These are the clippers right here. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, I'll find them online and put them down below. I don't know if it matters because um, they're clippers at the end of the day. To me, they're just clippers because I'm not a hairstylist. And uh, my girlfriend is going to be very upset because before she left, she said, don't cut your hair. And I'm about to cut my hair. So what I'm going to do is start with a seven clipper just to start and also the mirror. I'm going to try to actually, let's see how much this cuts first. So let's go ahead and see. Upstairs is crazy, bro. Jesus, I have to make sure I know where that line is, bro. I'm gonna split my hair in that U shape. I should have done this before. I'm doing everything backwards. Let's see what a five is. Let's do a five. What's up guys? So what I'm basically doing is starting from the biggest clipper, number seven, and I'm just going down until I see that there's some type of progression of, of course, hair falling, but also progression in the sense of blending. So I'm not going to do that line like you see on YouTube because I don't know how and I don't want to get in trouble with myself, but I'm just going ahead and following the, basically I'm creating my own guideline, pretty much. So here I'm changing my clipper down to a five guard or number five. And what I am doing is just trying to get a little bit more hair off of my sideburns and also blending in a little bit more the top because obviously there's a little bit of poofiness happening. So I'm just trying to take that down, but taking my time because I don't want to exaggerate or try to do something I'm not too comfortable doing because at the end of the day, I'm not even comfortable cutting my own hair. <laughs> There's a one that says right ear taper. Let's see what right right ear taper means. <laughs> Consistently use this comb because I want to make sure that. All right, so right here, what I'm doing is just taking my brawn trimmers and I'm trying to just create a guideline for around my hair. It's easier to see your head a little bit cleaner, uh, your hair a little bit cleaner when you line them up, and then it won't seem too messy. So everything comes together, it tightens up a little bit better. So this just gives it a better appearance for me and also for you because you're not going to see your hair as ugly and untidy. So in between the haircuts or before, try to do it. But for me, it was easier just to take a little bit of length off, a little bulk off, and then use these trimmers just to line up the edges uh, and see what else I need to do. So boom. <laughs> clipper for my left ear, not the left, whatever this is.
this mean? I attempt to fade a sideburn. Let's see. Is that blurry? Damn. All right, guys. Okay, I kind of got rid of that line that was there, which is good.
shit. I think I got it. All right, I gotta admit, in the shower, it felt good. So far, so good. Uh, I'm gonna blow dry my hair real quick, style it. See what happens. Let's go. Use a little bit of the chapter styling cream. Only the best for the man with the best hair. I didn't mess it up during this quarantine. Let's see. Oh, it feels better even just to comb, just to put product in. Trust me guys, I've gotten worse haircuts before. Like, really bad from people who, who say they cut hair. Like, I, I sat in the chair and the lady blended me like the worst blend ever. So I'm not mad at this at all. This is what I wish I would have gotten when some lady messed me up. When the guy said, I'm done. And he told me to get out of his seat because we we're recording. Cool. All right, moment of truth, 360. Because it only matters when your hair is styled. And you know, like, there could be flaws in your haircut, that's fine. But it really matters is, what really matters is, can you style it, you know what I'm saying? So, let's see, just messy, messy all around. A little bit of volume, a little bit of boopsie daisies. Let's do a 360. that forward just a little bit because that's where that blend wasn't all that great but the thing is that this side had a line because I had a design last time you could see it a little bit and it's kind of disappeared which is what I wanted to I wanted that to happen because it was getting annoying because it was just like a little shelf right there and it was kind of getting in the way of me feeling better about myself but now it's completely gone. Gone for the most part. And there you go. This is my quarantine haircut. Successfully made, successfully done. The biggest thing I can emphasize when you're cutting your own hair is don't go crazy. Don't try a bald fade. Don't try one. Like, I know the bald fades on YouTube, they make it seem so easy because you're cutting a lot off, but then also you have a lot more to lose. Uh, so I figured that for this haircut video I did I'm proposing the same thing I've been proposing to you guys before don't cut your hair But if you do trim it and this is more of an in-depth you're actually we're actually using clippers uh, I did go from the highest clipper down to the lowest and Nando basically told me if I was gonna do my cut my own hair Just do that and start from the highest go low don't go too short and don't try anything fancy like you know At the end of the day you have to remember you're not a barber. You're not a hairstylist feels good what do you guys think about my quarantine little trim slash haircut? Uh, like I said, this isn't a professional professional doing hair stuff. This is just uh, you know professional barber cutting hair. This is just me because the quarantine times are tough. So I'm gonna get out my robe. I don't think you guys want to see this. Peace out. Don't forget to put style on everything.